And then, nag-cover pa ako ng nagpipaint me. Eh, sobrang tagal ko na nagpipaint. Naging okay na siya. As lang. Nagaling mo din. Solid? Solid, solid. Thank you. Ang problema. Thank you for tuning in again for yet another vlog and for today we will restore a shoe and then I will discuss how to mix and match colors kung wala kayo nung color block na yun or yung color is something that is limited na mahirap makuha para siya mag mix and match ng color para makuha mo yung same color na yun and how we will do how we will do uh, paano gumawa ng splat color yun like the dot dot and to, to demonstrate you that, I have a shoe here from Kuya Mark, Kuya Mark Kelvin Lopez. Thank you na binigay na sa ating shoes na to. Actually, yung binigay, pinapa-restore na to for us and as a close friend of, of him, uh, i-restore natin siya. No? Shout out to Kuya Mark Kelvin Lopez and the Knockdown Productions, KD. Uh, I've worked there before as a senior promoter for the events of KD Productions and if you have any events this is not a paid promotion whatsoever hindi ako binayang na KD dito uh, just click the link down below ililink ko na lang siya doon if you have any kind of events na gusto nyo paayon sobrang bait ng crew ng, sobrang bait ng mga tao dyan especially Kuya Mark and call them up may contact sila doon sa may page na ililink ko sa baba and if you have any events contact nyo sila so without much further ado we will restore this Air Max 90, I think, because ito yung walang box na binigay sa atin. Meron siyang paint chips all over the shoe. Ayan. Bitak-bitak yan. Sobrang bitak na bitak na bitak. As well as this one, lalo na to. Ayan. So, of course, as a restoration vlog, Ito yung hindi pinaka damage so we will put this shoe on the side and this one ito yung a the restore natin to and ito yung pagko-compare natin so without much further ado let's get into it so first things first is of course the shoe trees ay hindi mali tanggalin muna natin yung lace as the usual ay what said lang yung tanggal <laughs> Saka lang pala yung ayusin natin pag kukumpira nga pala ito. So, dyan lang natin lagay yan. <laughs> so again guys, ito na yung shoes. And after na matanggal natin yung laces, nalilinisin din natin. Adjustable shoe tree. Okay. Shoe tree is in. Next thing we'll do is we're gonna grab our bowl. The bowl here. And... Of course, our rejuvenator sneaker cleaning kit. Then we'll grab our soft bristle brush. Now we just we're just cleaning the shoe. And nag strip off na yung ibang paint talaga niya. It means na hindi talaga in good conditions yung mga paints. Ganyan. Ito yung sabi yung speckle. Actually, it's a, it's a speckle na black and then gray. And yeah. And then yung sa mga kanyang mga eyelids. But this one, touch-ups lang, pwede na to. So, after we've cleaned this up, next na gagawin natin is we will use our acetone to remove the remaining paint to strip it all up and our cotton balls so let's go Inyong gano ka bristle paint strip niya to. 
wala nang fintura. Fintura? <laughs> so our next step is gamit tayo ng razor blade pang shave, no? Because meron siyang mga parang mga excess na mga tailor sa gilid-gilid. Ayan, ang mga kita nyo. Tanggalin lang natin siya. Para lang maklean. And ito na yung ating na strip the paint. It's all yellowish. Medyo yung midsole niya, meron siyang tendency mag-crumble na kasi medyo luma na natin pair. Its production date is 2013. Nasa loob siya ng Its production date is 2013. Nasa loob siya ng Seoul. Natala naman. Kita niya mo kung gano'ng kasira. No? 2013 yung production date niya. So, razor blade lang natin sa tala yung magilip. Clean lang natin sa dalya. Let's go. Now, next na gagawin natin, after natin ma-strip yung paint and ma-shave na yung mga excess na mga tela na mukhang dahil sa age, is the same natin is color matching. So, ano nga ba yung color matching? Um, color matching is when you combine two colors, for example, itong yellow, itong yellow, and itong blue, it will come with the color for green. Now, if you put um, enough yellow and then a little bit of blue para magiging um, light green yung color niya which is makukuha natin in the form of this green like ito yung green na ganito makukuha natin yan green na ganyan yung makukuha natin yung makita yan green na ganito yung makukuha natin kasi green yung color nito yan and if you mix up the red fire red with a little bit of a white we will get actually fire red with a little bit of white we will get this kind of a pinkish infrared color na makukuha natin and then of course the orange will be a yellow dominant yellow and a bright orange para medyo tumingkad yung kulay nito and of course for the gray one is a black and a white Medyo yung color niya is um, um, Oreo. Oreo gray yung kulay niya. And then of course, the speckles will be black. So, pakita ko mo sa inyo kung paano mag-mix ng colors. Okay, first na gagawin natin is mixing the, the black and the white with the Oreo gray na kulay or Oreo na kulay para dun sa ating midsole may isang part. So, tara, paano ko siya ginagawa. So, kung gusto nyo yung timplahin, yung kulay, para maging uh, gray siya, ang ginagawa ko, ang ginagawa ko is I use toothpick. This one toothpick, binabalik yung kabilang dulo niya to make it flat. Flat yung shape. And then, according to sa color, which is this gray one, mukhang dominant white siya in a little bit of a black. So what we gotta do is grabbing our mixing bowl. I dot one part of white. Ne, dominant. I dot two parts of white. And I dab a little bit of a black. Tanyo ba? Ito yung black. Ito yung white. So after doing that, we mix ko lang siya dito. So I could come up with a color that I wanted. If mukha siyang Turkish, hindi niya kulay yung color. Dagdagan ko lang siya ng white. Another double for white para maging lighter siya. And yun na yun. Ma-add up siya dito. Yeah. So nakita niyo na yung kulay. It's a grayish type. Ay mag-focus ah. Yeah, a grayish type of white na siya. So it means so it means that it's four parts white and one part black. Ganun yung maging kulay niya. 
So ngayon, pwede natin dagdagan. That's only for the gray Oreo color, but for the other colors, mayroon pa tayong mimix. So, let's go. So one thing din pala is yung gray. Kinuha ko yung color ng gray, dinab ko siya dito. And if it looks like medyo makapal pa siya, add more para makuha pa yung kulay. So, until makuha natin yung kulay ng Oreo, yun na yun. So, mag-add pa tayo ng onting white. So, we've already mixed the perfect color dun sa ating Oreo. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our paintbrush the mix color. Kung kulangin, dagdagan na natin ulit. Alam na natin kung ano ratio niya. And we will paint this one. Let's go! Oh nga pala, if you need to put some tips para dito, kung hindi steady yung kamay nyo sa pagpipaint, you can do so, but I don't think it's negative in life. So we finished the gray background of this one. The difference, guys. Only one. Yeah. So check. Gray ones. Uh, yeah, it's different. Now, okay na. Yung ating gray. Next thing we natin is we will do a speckle na para spray using a toothbrush. So what we're gonna do is paint in the brush and then we will like that. Gagawin natin yung use some paint and Pago natin gawin yun, mag-end up din pala tayo gumamit ng masking tape para i-tape up yung parts na kailangan hindi malagyan dahil sayang syempre. So, gawin muna natin is tape up muna natin to and balikan ko kayo. Now, all patch up. Magagin yung mga tape natin sa mga unnecessary places na pwede nilagyan ng splat. Black speckle. Now, ang gagawin natin is Halagyan natin ng black paint yung toothbrush. Teka, halagyan muna ako ng ilipat ko lang itong aking gloves. Ano ba? Tagtipid mode, no? <laughs> Tinipiligro na ho. <laughs> Tapos, and grab natin itong ating toothbrush. And halagyan natin ng paint. So, may taas-taas. May bibig. Then, speckle lang siya dito. Ganito. Yeah. 
So this is our speckle finish. Yung black speckles, no? Yan siya ngayon, yan. Medyo mas naging aggressive lang yung side na to, pero it's the same. Sana naging ano lang, para more natural yung tura no, ito, pero para mas, okay naman siguro to. But it's returned back to life yung midsole niya, no? So next natin i- uh, to cover up is yung orange. Ito yung ganito yung pagka-orange niya. Ang ating main color na ilalagay is itong Thunder Yellow. Thunder Yellow. Yeah, Thunder Yellow at ito ang hmm, Flaming Orange. So, mix up lang natin and So guys, ito na yung ating orange color. Hindi siya malalukita pero it's a mix of thunder yellow and the layer orange color. So kailangan ko natin siya ngayon. Dito. So let's go. Comparison guys Comparison Buhay na ang buhay isang sapatos natin <laughs> Okay So yung next color natin is yung green Na nandito Dami na po lang tigpas nito pero Kaya pa natin tagawaan And yung main color natin is it all blue and yellow thunder yellow so let's go so na color natin yung right color ito na siya siya na makita pero ito yung green so ilalagyan natin siya dito gamit wah gamit itong detail brush na siya so let's go So, tapos na natong green. Compare. It's the newer green. Next is itong pink, which is red. And of course, the white one. So, kabayo ulit dito. I'll get back to you after. So, nakuha natin yung color red. I-apply natin siya dito sa may. Ah, may pinkish red. Sorry. I-apply natin siya dito ngayon. Now, uh, okay na yung shoes. Check this. What? Oh. Fresh AF. Now, uh, of course, plastic and then midsole. Kailangan natin siyang gamitan ng na ating special Angelus. Too hard. So, ito yung adhesive natin para dito sa mga plastic wares. So, gagamitan natin siya. Siyempre. And, simulan na muna natin ito ngayon. Mabilis na ito. So we will apply too hard on all of the parts that we repainted. Now, the final step natin is to put matte acrylic finisher on the parts na excuse me, pinainta natin and nalagyan na lang natin siya ng um, rejuvenator water and stainer pen.
So everything is wrapped up. Gawin lang natin is talagyan natin yung lace ulit. So, nalagyan natin ng laces. Next is talagyan na lang natin siya or spray lang natin siya ng rejuvenator water and stain repellent. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching again. Hope you like the vlog. And ito nga yung ating side-by-side -side comparison on the old shoes. But lighting na konti. Ayan. On the old shoes. The rugged ones. With all those pink chips na wala na. Ayan yung gilid, gilid na. Ayan naman yan. This is This um more slickest or more mas maayos siya na, na restoration other than this and I have more things to do. Then I start going on the other side. And again, guys, Andilim. Yeah. Again, guys, thank you for watching again. Hope you like the vlog. If you're not still part of the family, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. Decide it for you to get notified whenever I get or whenever I upload a new vlog. And if you have any comments, suggestions, and reactions, that hit the comment section down below. I will read them all. And thank you again so much for watching again. And I will see you all guys next time. Peace. Head up. Heads up. Feet on the ground. Here we help you. Bye bye. So we are in the office now. No, no, no. Nothing. We will get the shoes. We will help you. Come on. Come on. What up? Stop. Just go lang ah. Oi, go see it. Wala lang. Ha, ano na lang? Bon lang yung ano. Ito yung shoes. Kaso meron kang dalawang problem dun sa shoes. Ano? Yung shoes kasi, medyo luma na. Okay. So, ano ano eh. Natin nagko-cover pa ako nung nagpipaint me. Eh, sobrang tagal ko nang nagpipaint. Naging okay na siya. Ang galing mo dyan. Solid? Solid, solid. Thank you. Ang problema.